Helen, observers are saying that we can't lift these confinement measures and resume normal life, whatever that may look like, unless there is widespread coronavirus testing. But one of the problems is that they're not proving to be 100 percent accurate. Um, well, in terms of the antibody testing, I think there is still a lot of um, uh, work that needs to be done on increasing the accuracy of those tests. But um, I think the uh, uh, this, the swab testing is is likely to be more accurate. But I, th I think the the more important point is that um, you know there are many reasons why this virus is circulating in the population. And while testing is an important component of helping control um, the epidemic, it's not the only thing that will help control the epidemic. And, and, and one of the really important things is um, our behaviors in terms of social distancing and um, good hand and respiratory hygiene, for example. And those are things that we can all do to not only protect ourselves against infection, but also um, uh, reduce the likelihood of, of unwittingly passing the infection on to others. So I think it's Im Im important to remember that we all have a role to play um, in, in helping reduce the spread of this pandemic. Um, Absolutely. You just mentioned those hygiene measures. There are also social distancing measures in place. Uh, I think a question mm -hmm. a lot of people are asking, and I'm sure it's too early to presume, but when do you think we'll be able to hug again? <laughs> well, um, Hopefully, we can still hug the people at our at our households, even even with social distancing. But um, I mean, I think it's hard to say how this pandemic and the epidemics in different countries are going to play out, and when um, we'll really bring this virus under control. But I I suspect until, you know, I, I imagine that in time the social restriction uh, restrictions that are being imposed at the moment will be reduced. Um, and we will go back somewhat to normal life. But I, I think realistically, until there's a vaccine um, that can help bring up the immunity in the population, uh, uh, I'm not sure life will go back 100% to normal, but hopefully we will still be able to hug one another um, in, in, you know, before that, that happens. He's, he's hoping to that. Now, uh, talking about the timing, you were, uh, I believe, the co-author <laughs> of a study that claims large peaks in coronavirus cases during the winter. So with the summer months fast approaching here in Europe, are we certain to see a drop and then potentially a second wave again in the winter? Um, well, what I would say is that um, seasonality may play a role in the spread of this virus in the coming months. Um, we've seen in these commonly circulating coronaviruses that cause the common cold that they have these winter peaks and much uh, fewer cases in the summer. Um, but I think uh, even if that pattern holds to, to COVID and um, it has a tendency to spread more easily in the, the colder months and the summer months, I still think that there's other factors that have an, um, a big role in um, uh, the spread of the virus. And those are the fact that the population has really high levels of susceptibility. So there's so many susceptible people in the population, it's probably easier for the virus to spread. And also, our behaviors dictate to a large extent how, um, how easily this virus spreads. And that's why it's so important to follow the, the public health advice um, in the countries that we're in. And I would say that although there, um, there may be a, a reduction in cases due to the seasonality of the virus in the summer, we should remain vigilant and, and make sure that we're um, doing things like good hand hygiene, even when restrictions start to lift. Ellen, you very briefly alluded to vaccinations earlier. We know that the TB vaccine has been called a potential weapon against the coronavirus. Is it again too early to say that that would be the case? Um, I think it's very early days in vaccine development for this virus. I know that um, researchers around the world are working at as, as hard and as fast as they can to develop one. Um, but I, I think it's going to take some time to develop. So um, I, I think it's still early days to, to, to say.